the book certainly exceeds my expectations. And once again, this is this feeling of repeating Heiberg. He says in his introduction to his edition, I found out that a new edition was absolutely necessary as a result of what I discovered in Istanbul. We can say the same now. A new edition is made absolutely necessary as a result of what we found in Baltimore. No matter which leaf it is, no matter which page it is, we find that there are no boring pages. Whenever we look at an individual page, we discover new things in the most unexpected places. It's not that we can walk in any simple way from the edition of Heiberg and say, aha, I wrote this type of thing, and therefore there might be something to be discovered there. We just can't tell what may come as a surprise. And there are plenty of surprises, plenty of surprises, even having to do with things we thought we were quite certain, quite cert settled already. Nothing is settled. The text right now is quite in flux. This is the kind of discovery I was dreaming about, really. I think we may have discovered a page which includes a text of Archimedes which was never read, and I mean literally never read for the last thousand years or so, because this is the only text that survives in Greek. We're talking about a chunk of unfloating bodies that Heiberg simply felt he could not read at all, he could not identify as a text at all. This is from the first page of the folio, and as you know, this book suffered some damage uh, f in a fire, and obviously the outer uh, parts of the book suffered more than other parts of the book. This means that the first folio is naturally a, a folio which suffered a lot. And as we look at this folio, we can see that there's practically nothing to be seen there. It is so badly damaged. However, with ultraviolet light, it is simply readable. We can read this text. It's still difficult, and I'm really very much looking forward to the images. But from what we see, I think we can say that this folio contains on floating bodies is a continuation of another folio in this manuscript. And in if this is the case, we've got a substantial piece of a Greek text from antiquity, from the third century BC, one of the major works of, uh, from antiquity, which will, will we will now be able to read for the first time.